Hey, folks, Happy New Year. It's the Patreon. We're back. Have you had sex in the new year? Uh, I have. All right. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> it was a good time. Pretty pretty predictable who it was with for both of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It was with each other. My hand. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, man, it's... Uh, it's good to see. You. It's been a minute. I haven't been out that much lately. Yeah, well, you know, it's holidays. You you, yeah. you go in, you go fireplace, you go eggnog, you go bearskin rug. Yeah. Presents, gifts. Made made a couple Boulevardiers at home. Ooh, Those are nice. What's in that? That's we've had it on this. It's like whiskey, Campari, and vermouth. Oh, that's good stuff. A little ice. Put a big. I got those big ice cubes at home. Ah, I love a big cube. Yeah. I was doing the the noon drinking all holiday. Yeah. You know, I'm with the family, so it's just like, <laughs> you know, you got it. There's nothing to do. And they live out in the burbs, the ladies' family, so you just got to start in hitting the sauce. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of nice to just be like, I, those days where you're like, I have nothing to do. I'm going to get into a new show. I'm going to have a drink. I went on vacation, which I've never... I was literally trying to be like, this is what you do on vacation to my yeah. to my girlfriend. She's like, are you trying to explain vacation to me? <laughs> that thing you've never taken? Right. She's uh, like, and you're trying to break down what you... I'm like, I assume this she's is what got you a do. Point. <laughs> you're just going off shit you've seen in movies. You're like Clark Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go saw a tree down. <laughs> yeah, what'd, what'd you do? You were up in the, 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 the Catskills? A lot of movies. Yeah, near there. A lot of movies. A lot of, uh, a lot of restaurants. A lot, sure. of, a lot of room service. You hey, know. nothing wrong with that. It's weird. Like, my girlfriend is younger than I am, so she's like never seen. She's like, "What's a feel good movie?" We're just in the hotel room watching Twenty Two Jump Street. <laughs> it's like a fun movie, you know. <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, "What's a movie like this?" And I was like, "Have you ever seen like Rush Hour?" She's like, "No." I'm like, "Shit." She's just. You ever date someone younger than you, and you're like, "You've never seen." <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Yeah. yeah. And my gal has never seen any. I'm like, "Honey, I shrunk the kids." She's like, "What's that? Who got shrunk? What?" I'm like, "Ah." <laughs> you're crazy but then i put it on and she's just tiktoking so it's it's useless yeah but it sucks as you're i'm we'll watch the family guy the family guy i'm old now <laughs> and we'll watch family guy and it's just references all day long of these old movies and she's not getting any of them and i'm like you see you're missing out on fun stuff because you won't pay attention now yeah. i'm turning into you know a third grade teacher now you do there is a thing like we do when we and then you turn to that dude where you're like, why don't we the person who's like, you haven't seen this movie, you must watch this I movie. Know. Then you turn into that douchebag where you're like, just you're like, you're the you're the old guy. Yes. Where you're like, hey, you haven't seen Dog Day Afternoon, sit down. Yeah, and they're like, ah, oh, here's three hours of my life, <laughs> and then they got to pretend to like it. it. It's tough. It's I hate when people show me stuff like, hey, you got to see this book, and you're like, oh, great. Or like the house tour, you go to the house, hey, you got to have the tour. I hate when people show me shit, yeah. and so now I'm doing it to her, and I feel bad, but it's for in her best interest to see <laughs> Rush Hour. But even that, you sound like her dad. I know. This is I for know. your own good. <laughs> I'm going to spank you. <laughs> but it's you know what's interesting? Movies from like the 40s and 50s aren't that tough. It's movies from the 70s that are tough. Because mm. that's like the cinema of loneliness period. Totally. Where like, it's taxi like driver, taxi driver, Raging Bull. The conversation. Oh, you're my just it, it's just a dude like fixing a car part or yeah. something, and you're like, just it's seven minutes to see. Right. But just you're gonna one. sit here and watch Deliverance. <laughs> it's a great <laughs> That's movie. A tough one. That's tough. Man, respect to Ned Beatty for taking that role. Oh my God, the the uh, the anal rape in the woods. That was rough. How do you go to any party after that? Hey, Ned. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Woo! I watched rewatch RoboCop. Talk about dark. Yeah, I mean, that's like, I remember seeing that as a kid and being like, wait, how many times did he get shot? Yes. They shot his hand off, and it was uh, Kurtwood Smith of uh, That 70s Show. Love that thing. guy. Great guy. The mom from That 70s Show is amazing, She too. is hilarious. They're great actors. What's her name? She was on Seinfeld, too. She was. She's in, like, every sitcom as yeah. a bit part, killing it. But, uh, yeah, RoboCop, way over the top, and I realize it's a Dutch director. So those Dutchmen, they go crazy. They go hard. Anyone not in America, it's like they're yeah. like they're dark as shit. Like Way have you seen darker. like Korean movies? Oh my god, yeah. Korean horror! It's too much. Yeah, I hate that shit. There she is, Deborah Jo Rupp. Oh, she's awesome. She's yeah. great. Yeah, she's in every sitcom ever. What? Uh, There's one called The Audition in Korea. It's, I think it's it might be Japanese actually, but it is. I've heard of that. Wild. Like I couldn't get through it. There's a movie I forgot. Where's it from? It's called Festin. Look it up. What what country? Is Festin. It? Yeah, it's a, like a family reunion. Uh, and you find out basically some real dark shit has happened in the family. Mm -hmm. 
I think it's called, it's like translates to a celebration. Yeah, the celebration. Is this Scandinavian? Because they go nuts too. I don't, what, what is that? I don't want to sound super ignorant here. You ever see? Danish. All right. Oh, Danish. Yeah, see, the yeah, Dutch. The Dutch, man, they go hard. They go hard. I mean, you ever heard of like uh, Finnish or uh, Icelandic rock, the heavy metal out there? It's wild. They make Marilyn Manson look like uh, Raffi. <laughs> It's hard to do that after the allegations, <laughs> oh, but they true. manage. That's true. What? Uh, yeah. So what did what? You just got drunk for the most of the. Uh... Pretty drunk. Did a puzzle. Did, a I brought, puzzle. Oh yeah, that's when you know things are. Uh, there's a low bar. But uh, did a did the Lego Seinfeld set? Yeah. Yeah. We got to yeah. do the gifts on here. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. We should open those. I brought yours back. Really? Yeah. They're here. <laughs> I brought them all the way to my house, then I brought them back six months later. Yeah. Oh shit! We gotta open. Should we open them on the Patreon? Yeah, there? might as well. We got, we got all the. We're unboxing. This is here. No, no, these are gifts from the fans. I can't hear you, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. Left. Uh oh. Oh here. Oh, there you go. Should I, should I open these? Yeah, I'll start opening these. All right. Got to keep my eye on the phone. We got a big guest coming, folks. All right, here we go. Unboxing. Thanks to everybody at home for sending stuff in. <laughs> R.I.P. Betty White. Oh, dude. And uh, fuck, a lot of people. Like a lot of people have died. John Madden. John That's Madden. A bit, did you know John Madden created the like when people do the X and O's on the screen? Whoa! He started that shit. I did not know that. Isn't that crazy? That's wild. That guy was a legend, man. I loved. I loved John Madden. Legend. Scared of flying. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, he, he also retired from coaching at like 42 and what? is in the Hall of Fame, which is insane. Can you imagine being done? Like, imagine being done from comedy at 42. That's insane. Because also, it's like coaching is another thing where usually you don't break. Yeah. I think I heard somewhere it's like Bill Parcells is the other, like one of the greatest coaches ever. Uh -huh. He didn't start coaching until 42. Oh wow, it's like Rodney. He didn't start till 50, or get famous till 50. Hey. Oh, this is dope. 